Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be filming a little PR unboxing today. Some things um, are definitely that I've showed you before. So if you guys watch my vlogs, you may have seen these products. Like I always show like a quick little unboxing, but I never really go into depth. And I just wanted to show you guys um, like what I've received and just look at them and look at like everything that we've got and just go through all the new makeup and skincare that we've got and um some of these i will show you guys because actually it, some of this is unboxing so it's kind of just like let's look at some new makeup because some of these are sent through pr and some things i bought myself so yeah it's just unboxing new makeup really so first of all the first thing i got which i've done a review on is the um revolution iril iril in real life um filter foundation so i got this um because i'd seen it release and i just thought this looks really good because I, let me just mute that. So every time I feel my phone goes off, honestly. So this is the In Real Life Filter Foundation and I got it in the F2. So it's a long wear foundation and it's breathable. I actually have it on right now and I'm just doing something really simple makeup wise today. Um, and it is so breathable. It is really good coverage. I have broken out like around my chin which is the norm for me and this holds it like it covers it really well I love the fact that it's oil free so I feel like it's not like um adding to my oiliness because I do have oily skin and it lasts apparently 16 hours so when I did it when I did a review I um, had a comment from somebody saying that they would love to see like a wear test and next time I should do like a pinned comment or something and maybe like test it properly where I wear it and then let you guys know how it went. So if you haven't seen, I have put a comment on the video and I just said to you guys that I think I wore it, I think I wore it for around eight hours, um, eight or nine hours and then I was taking my makeup off and doing my skincare and I noticed that it didn't break up like it didn't oxidize it didn't look bad at all it just went dry in the areas <laughs> it just went dry in the areas where like i have my skin problems like the spots and stuff so overall i'm really impressed with this foundation um yeah so if you haven't seen that video make sure you go and watch the next thing i got was actually some of these birthday collection things so i got some things from the new iheart revolution birthday collection and i was really excited for this one because i feel like i haven't done any i feel like i haven't bought makeup in so long like i used to get all of their collections and then they were sending me stuff in pr as well but then when i put up on instagram what you guys actually want all of you bar two people said you want makeup so that's what i'm gonna do yeah this is like a first purchase for me makeup wise in a very very long time and i'm really happy with it so i got the birthday cake palette um i actually did a little review of this on my instagram like a little ig reel um and yeah you guys really liked it and i really enjoyed it and i do do i'm definitely trying to do every single day posting an ig reel on instagram of something where i try some products out i'm always doing like some sort of tutorial or reel every single day so make sure you go and follow because they are quite fun um i'm really loving that at the moment so this is the birthday cake palette i will definitely be doing a full um reviewing this testing this a video when i can probably this weekend because it's quite hard for me to film sit down videos like i just said because of my daughter like it's just really hard to get that time so i have to wait until liam's at home um so this is what the palette looks like revolution always do this kind of like 3d this is like their typical 3d kind of packaging and i love it i think this is so cute i just fell in love with this whole thing um so this is what the front looks like and then the palette really reminds me of some palette but i just can't remember what it is i feel like it might be like the watermelon one it just reminds me of something like it's very it's very um Oh, you can see all my front room hello it's very um bright and like colorful which i love um so yeah i'm really excited to try this out so i'm gonna go ahead and just swatch a few of the colors for you um i feel like sometimes i'm really impressed with like revolutions formulas like i heart revolutions and then sometimes i'm not like personally i feel like this blue is banging but the rest are just a little bit like 
lackluster and I kind of felt like I was falling away from it a little bit because I just wasn't getting every palette wasn't the same like all their palettes are different um but I do love the forever flawless formula and I do prefer the um tasty palettes as well so yeah I mean they swatch really nice so they feel very smooth like this one you can see there's not really much is like hardly anything there can you see that it's right there but it's hardly anything there so I feel like some of this palette is quite like soft to touch and not really much payoff um but the color here confetti this one swatched really really nice it's, it's nice and deep um as you can see that's really nice and deep I like that one um and then the mattes I think are just like their typical formula so again yeah really nice I like their mattes very nice and very pigmented there's just a few shades in there that I just found was a little bit um more harder to work with but we will definitely be doing a full review on that um and then I also grabbed I should have brought a cloth in here I also grabbed this palette here this one is the caramel candy face palette I was kind of unsure what shade to get because they do have quite a few options but I got the caramel candy and I feel like it'll be okay yeah I think it will yeah so this is what that one looks like again it's got the nice little cupcake on the front how sweet and that's what that looks like so it's a nice little quad um so we've got blusher is this a blusher as well it looks to be either two I think we've got two blushes here bronzer and a highlight so I'll go ahead and swatch the that must be a contour or something I don't even know if that's blush or what but them two there that's really nice blush actually I quite like that and then the bronzer and the highlight. Ooh. I don't know if you, let me show you guys that highlight actually. That highlight was quite, there's the highlight. That is really gold. I am not sure if that's gonna be like great for my skin tone, but maybe I should have gone for a different shade. I don't know, I'll have to have another look, but I was kind of unsure which one to go for to be honest. So, um, apologise if the lighting goes in and out. We've had snow here, so it's like sun's out, snow, sun's out. Like, I apologise. Okay, next thing I got, you guys. I had to get something from the Lion King collection. So I saw that they released this Lion King collection, and I was like, I just want it all. Um, and I was like, let me just find the one that's right for me, just to try, because I've got to try something. So I think I got this in Superdrug. I was like, so cute, I love it. So this is the Jungle Princess palette. This is what it looks like. The palette is so cute. I honestly found it quite hard to choose um, what one to go for, because they had like a bigger palette. They had the mini palettes. Sometimes I really love a mini palette. It really depends on like, the colour story for me, like that's what I go for. If I can get it out. I have makeup all over me. So this is what it looks like. So it's a nine pan palette. How cute is she? Let's just take this packaging off. Ooh. So this is what she looks like. I love, 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 love the purples. They're so cute. So I'll go ahead and swatch some of the mattes just so we can see. Oh, I love them. They're really nice. Really nice. Okay, and then let's swatch the beautiful blue here. Oh, that one feels quite... It actually felt quite chalky in the pan, but yeah, they... Oh, I'm going to like this. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see. They're the... There we go. This green here is called Best Friend. Stunning. Look at that green. I feel like I'm definitely going to have to do a look and do something with, like, the orange, green and purple or something like that. This palette is really cute, and I feel like that one swatched, swatched even better than the one that I was just swatching, the um, I Tasty Revolution one. I showed you guys this on Instagram if you watch my Instagram videos, but I went to Superdrug and I saw this as well. So in the spring and summer, I like a really nice pink blusher. Like, I usually go for, like peachy blushes but I wanted something something really pink which I have on now um, and I got this it's called the pink lady blusher reloaded 
shade pink lady it's so pretty it's their reloaded um collection i love it it's beautiful like i've got it on it's a really really nice buildable blush oh thank god i've got a cloth always come prepared oh is that luna bless her i think she's settling to sleep now she always sings herself to sleep and then she'll go to sleep for a bit okay and then i got some things sent over so a brand called skin in motion i love this brand they are so cute so they sent across this little bag they always send their products up products out in this bag so it says when in doubt dance it out so this brand is basically all around fitness um and like wearing makeup whilst you're working out and just basically finding something that suits your skin for when you're working out so they sent me some makeup a few weeks ago and i loved it i really have fallen in love with the concealer um and then they reached out to me and said like would you like to try some skincare sun's coming out so they said what they said across is really sweet actually so they sent this little bag across here and the first thing we have is this cleanser you guys know i love skincare like i feel like i do so much skincare on my on my instagram videos because i just love skincare so this is called purify it it's a witch hazel um cleansing water cleansing water so it's clarifying soothing and firming which sounds amazing which hazel is really really good for your skin as well and then they sent across these cloths these little face cloths from the same brand which is lovely and then um i've been using this actually i don't know where i've put it now oh here it is and then they sent across this lip balm lip plump it tinted lip balm um so it looks like this and it's so nice i've actually got it on it gives you like a really nice um feel to your lips like it's really soft and moisturizing and it's also like got a tint to it so really love that um can't wait to try that out make sure you keep an eye on my instagram so you don't miss my instagram videos for that like reels then i think i showed you guys in the vlogs but bondi sands actually sent me something over and i was just like oh my god and then they reached out and they were like pick some more things from our website to send over which was just amazing honestly um made my dream come true that did that email it was just it's, I, was, I think i cried um so bondi sand sent across um a kind of like i picked up what i think it was called the beginner bundle or something like that um so i got a reusable self tanning mitt so this is just a standard application mitt but I actually had a lovely pamper last night, exfoliated and done all of that, so I actually want to tan tonight. I might vlog it with you guys, but look how nice that mitt is. It's nice and like velvety, so, so soft. So I'm really excited to use that. I've never, ever tried Bondi Sands um, tanning mitt. I think I've tried some of their tanning products. Yeah, I have. I've used their mousse before, um, and I got on really well with it. Then I had to pick up this. This was in the bundle as well. So this is the Body Moisturiser. Um, it, so it's paraben free, vegan friendly and it basically just hydrates your skin, nourishes your skin and it's got vitamin E and jojoba coconut scent. So let's smell it because I haven't even smelled it yet. Oh my god, I'm not a fan of coconut but this is lovely. Oh, I like this. Let's give it a pump. I love how big the bottle is as well. It's a, what is this bottle? Um, 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 um does it say it's 16.9 16.9 fluid ounce so it's 500 ml which is lovely because that will last a very long time so olivia's awake so it's really really watery but it's really creamy as well oh that smells amazing absolutely amazing i'm so looking forward to trying that and then there's also sent across this a body scrub kind of wish i used this last night in the bath now um coconut and sea salt body scrub looks unreal and all of this is obviously australian made as well so i'm really excited for all this it smells amazing and then i had to pick up the ultra dark tannin foam really really good love this stuff it doesn't like streak or anything and it's just really good at like looking flawless like it doesn't look you know when it goes all scaly after a time like this works quite well and it keeps really well if you moisturize 
Um, so that is it for that box. And then we have some products from Skin Proud, which I was just amazed by. Um, so this is actually from Skin Proud and Gifter. So they've actually sent the... Oh, I love it when they send this over. So they actually tell you how much it is so I can actually tell you guys. So first thing we got was... So this is the box. They always send things with this like hay stuff. You see this stuff here? It's so annoying. <laughs> Literally, I found this everywhere in like my daughter's bedroom, bloody in the kitchen, in the cat's beds, everywhere. So the first thing they sent across was this Velvet Cloud Cleanser. Um, so this is infused with magnolia extract to brighten the skin, anti antioxidant rich peony velvet cloud cleanser, gently dissolves impurities and all traces of makeup, leaving skin clean and balanced, enriched with moisture boosting niacinamide, that is such good stuff, niacinamide, with a fluffy whipped mousse texture, this foam is full of skin loving ingredients for a fresh feeling morning and night. So you just have to gently massage onto a damp face and rinse. So. This is what it looks like. Love the packaging, so nice. So this is basically a mousse cleansing. I love a good foam cleanser like that. And this retails for £13.95. So let's have a little look at this. Obviously I will be doing an Instagram video on it. it. Smells amazing, so nice. I love skincare so much. I just love it. I feel like sometimes I love skincare more than makeup, but I don't know, maybe not. That's what it looks like. So it's going to be one of them ones that as soon as you mix it with water, it's going to foam. Yeah, look at that. That is so nice. I love. I can't wait to try that. So we then have the Detox Tonic Toner. Is this right? Toner? Um, yeah, Detox Tonic Toner. So morning or noon or night, Detox Tonic, tonic is formulated for everyday use, blended with a delicate balance of AHAs. The tonic slows away dead skin cells whilst keeping the complexion hydrated. So, again, really hydrating. Um, let's have a look at this one. Oh, yes, I love these products when they've got these pumps here. Because what you can do is just grab your cotton round or pad, whatever, like this. And you just push and then it brings the product out instead of, like, pouring it. So, I really, really love this. This one retails for £14.95. Oh my god, Olivia. So that one retails for £14.95 and that is for after cleansing, apply the tonic to face and neck using a cotton pad. Um, and then we have something called Sorbet Skin. So with an ultra lightweight jelly texture, this Sorbet Light Gel delivers skin loving goodness on a major scale. Free from oil, Sorbet Skin locks in the skin's moisture for revitalised and healthy, dewy, glowy skin. I love their packaging. So this is what that one looks like. So it's a nice little pot. And I think I'm gonna really love this brand. I've never tried anything from their brand. I've always, always wanted to. Oh, it smells so nice. It smells amazing. And it's like a proper jelly formula. Yeah, so it's like jelly skin. It's like a jelly consistency, but that's gonna be really, Oh, it smells so nice. That, I cannot wait to do like a full face of that. It's going to be amazing. So make sure you keep an eye on Instagram. But if you guys want, I will do like a review on YouTube as well. So that one is £13.95. And all of these can be used AM and PM. And then um, I've just got my little brief there from the brand. So thank you so much, Skin Proud and Gifter. Next, you guys, Bondi Sands sent across this parcel here. I have showed you guys briefly, but I just wanted to, like, explain what happened with me with this brand. So, I've actually used all of these products. First of all, they sent across this, like, little wrap for your hair. I love these because I do my Instagram videos and I do a lot of skincare, so I do like them. And then they sent across three of their skincare products. So, we have Thirsty Skin, the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Wait. Yeah, <laughs> Thirsty Skin Hydrate in Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So this is what that one looks like. The packaging is so, is so nice. I really love this. So this is what it looks like. And then it's in one of these kind of bottles. But I have used these products. The only thing is when I first used them, I went really red. Now these products are for like sensitive skin. But it really made my skin go red in that Instagram video. 
but I don't know if it was because I was on antibiotics or something because I know that some antibiotics can mix with like skincare and things because I was reading about it but I don't know but other than that like my skin was fine after and it felt really nice um after the mask that I'll show you so there's that one so that's a serum um suitable for sensitive skin won't clog pores fragrance free I kind of love fragrance free products because I feel like sometimes when they're not fragrance free they're like really overwhelming so this is designed to intensely hydrate your skin and lock in moisture um cool plump and perky skin then we have sweet dreams night moisturizer so this is a bedtime routine with our creamy night moisturizer uh up to 72 hours of hydration so you can wake up to plump perky skin so again purple packaging love so this has got hyaluronic acid and squalane squalane i have used all of these products but i'll just show you guys so again it's a nice thick moisturizer this kind of reminds me of not too close to it but like you know the nivea creme nivea cream whatever you call it it's so thick and creamy and moisturizing and you wake up and your skin is just like so soft that's what i got with this like it's really really good i really love this one so this is what made me go red and i think obviously because i was kind of um i may have left it on a bit too long like i think i did because i was filming um but this is the bondi babe clay mask so it's a purifying clay mask which is really good for my skin um because i've got really oily blocked skin so if you'd like struggle with that and you want to like detox your skin this is really really good so it says to leave to 10 15 minutes i think i left for mine for 20. i think that's why i may have gone like really red but this is what that one looks like um so it's a purifying one and it, it's really nice like it dries down oh it dried down really nice if you want to see me use it definitely check out my instagram but um you, you guys can see me use this full range <laughs> can you remember <laughs> don't think she's gonna nap and we get into two o'clock like uh oh ay 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 um <laughs> so um as i was gonna say um maybe one day like my plan one day is to have i mean she's getting older now but like my plan one day is to have I've always dreamt of like having a beauty room like a proper massive beauty room um i think that's like every woman's dream sometimes but my plan one day is like when we buy a house i would love like a big cellar or a big basement and like completely kit it out kit it out into like a beauty place so i can go down there and film and like if like liam's upstairs with olivia like i can't hear because it's like soundproof and stuff because sometimes <laughs> I swear like people might get annoyed like if they can hear her shouting in the background but welcome to my channel that's what it's like like when you have kids I think you've just got to like accept that the same as like I've just accepted that my house is just going to be a mess all the time because every time I clean it she just messes it up I go and clean it now during nap time and then it's messy again so anyway that is everything that I got um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh no, there's one more thing. There's one more thing actually. So from Revolution, I also picked up this. This is the Blur Stick Bright Face Primer. So I've never tried a primer like this, like in a stick form. But when I saw it said blur, I was like, yes, please. Because my pores are huge. Like this sounds really good. So basically it's like this. Um, and you just like pop it on the areas and blow your skin so i haven't really tried this i have obviously put it on today just to like see what it's like but i haven't really put it to the test so if you're interested i will do a review on this first impressions i don't know if it's new but it seems to be quite good so yeah i think that's it from me so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below if you want to see more like this um i'm gonna try and film like the pr unboxings like this just because um it's just a nice little chit chat kind of video um yeah please subscribe please subscribe if you are new um and please comment down below if you enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in another one bye